The cathode building is under construction, but it's not as close to done as we thought. I'm Brian. Welcome to my Tesla weekend. Quick thank you to newest Patreon member David. Thank you for your decision to support the channel. Well, there's some big news this week, thanks to Giga Texas drone pilot Joe Tetmeyer, who managed to get eyes on some engineering drafts which give us the total dimensions of the building, which will be 100 feet wide by 850 feet in length, 30 meters by 260 meters. My estimate was 120 by 800, which should have gotten us within 10% of accurate on the footprint. Well, there was, unfortunately, a massive error in the spreadsheet where I was still using the 40-foot square size rather than the 20-foot square size I intended, let alone the 17-foot square size we now know to be accurate. This inflated my figures by more than 400%, and it's a simple enough error I should have caught it. I apologize for that, and I will be more diligent with my equations in the future. For a fantastic look at this and a better insight into the engineering with all the documents, head over to Joe's channel. I'll leave a link directly to this video in the description. It's well worth checking out. I'm sure you guys already know, but Joe does fantastic work. Another smaller revision is that we'd set the site prep at 100% complete, but we can now see that this was overly generous since they have since done some grading rework and revisions. So the site prep has been reduced to 95% done, which reduces the overall project's completion from the 15% estimated last week to 14.3%, which I think is closer to accurate. So yes, based on new and better information, the site is less complete than we believed it was last week, is 14.3% done. The spacing of the footing holes on the site map has also been revised, corrected, amended a bit based on better visual understanding. So what actually has gotten done so far? Well, some new holes have been excavated, though not as many as we expected, and most of them have been given a base layer of mud. Mud is a type of concrete upon which the rebar cages and forms will be placed in order to pour the concrete for the actual footings. As mentioned, there's been additional grading work done to level and compact the site to the appropriate topography, and the site map has been revised to show the actual dimensions. So here's the revised site map as of today. The orange indicates where footing work was begun for reference, though none of that has been counted towards the completion, and it won't be until the concrete is actually poured. What do you guys think? This coming week? The following week? Looking at the total footprint, both with the new information and the corrected equation, we see a maximum area of 86,700 square feet, or 8,000 square meters. The site will generally be three floors, though there will be areas which can be seen in the engineering drafts where the first floor is vaulted all the way to the roof, or at least to the third floor. Since it's likely to average around two and a half floors across the site, I expect it will come out in the 200,000 square foot range, or 20,000 square meters once factoring in the total floor area across all floors. It's a small building by Tesla standards, and a very small building by Giga Texas standards, but it's purpose-built for a single task, a single component, so this is likely the exact size they think it needs to be. This will not likely be an 18-month project, based on how small it is, and many of you in the comments have suggested it could be substantially complete by Christmas. Well, I'm curious to hear more of your estimates and reasoning in them comments below. Thanks as always to my Patreons who get early access, bonus content, an ad-free experience, help keep the channel running for as little as a buck a month. You guys really help out in times like these when enthusiasm is at a low because the stock price is down, but it's only going to get better because the fundamentals are just good. So what did I miss or misunderstand? 
Leave me all your thoughts, your wisdom, your juicy brilliance in them in the comments below and stay tuned, stay juicy. And I just can't wait to hear from you clever robots on the green side of the ticker.